What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and today I have finally received my Salamander Designs Ultra Short Throw Cabinet for the LS800 from Epson. I cannot wait to get this thing upstairs and set up. Let's go! All right, for everybody who is following along with this video, if you're interested in purchasing this product, you definitely wanna be home when it comes because it's coming on a freight pallet just like this in a massive box. So you wanna be here to receive it. Luckily, these cabinets can be taken apart and I'm hoping I can break it down enough to where I can get it inside myself or with the help of my wife or neighbor. We'll see. All right, guys, I got it unpacked. And what I'm thinking is instead of breaking it down, there's a bunch of guys doing construction right across the street. I'm just gonna throw them a few bucks and see if I can get someone to help me move it upstairs. Super quick haul today. All right, let's go. This thing was a lot heavier than I had expected. Surprisingly, I thought because it was like a modular built system that it was gonna be light and that I could take it apart. Um, that is one thing that I liked whenever I was interviewing Salamander. Like say down the road, I don't do an ultra short throw. I can get a new top for it and then do like long throw or TV or whatever. But it is a beast. <laughs> so make sure you either hire a moving company to bring it into your space or you bring the guns and uh, have another person help you out. All right, guys. Well, I got this thing up here. The next step is going to be setting it up, getting the projector in it, getting the amplifier in it, making the connections, getting it calibrated. The fun part. We're moving along and kind of checking this thing out. There's ventilation built in everywhere and I pulled off this front cabinet so that I can easily access the projector if you guys are looking at this product and you're not going to do a crazy surround system and you want to keep everything super clean maximize that wipe approval you can actually just put your speakers behind the mesh right here so that you don't see it at all another solution for this particular setup would be doing the 100 series from Focal in wall LCRs across the front sound stage underneath the screen because that particular speaker set it can actually fit in a 16 inch stud bay so a lot of different solutions we're going to be covering let's go ahead and open up this box here oh nice this is awesome <laughs> so sweet okay Next, we're gonna install this inside of the cabinet. Next, we're going to remove the back panel and insert the cooling system, which you just pull on these two little tabs here and then insert into place like that. And it has a very nice clean look. All right, now that I have it inserted, you can see it replaces the existing panel and you can do this on both sides. I'm gonna show you on the other side as well. The other side is where I'm actually going to house the equipment. Next, we're going to be opening up our shelving system. Got some hardware. Shelf number one and shelf number two. For most systems, two shelves are going to be sufficient and an installation guide, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in just a minute. For these particular shelves, you guys aren't gonna need any of this hardware, but it does come with it, which is nice. As you can see, this is for other models. What's really nice is you can tune and adjust the shelves to the exact height that you would like internally on these channels here. As you can see, you can move it to exactly where you want it. I'm gonna start out with the default position and just go ahead and pop both of these in. And then once I get my equipment, I can finally adjust them. Next, install the shelves. Just like 
that. And you can adjust these shells to your desired height, depending on the equipment that you're going to put in. All right, we have both of our shelves in and our fan kit. Okay, we have our cooling and shelving installed. And now I'm gonna make some tweaks. As you can see, the cabinetry came a little bit not perfectly in line on that side. The side's pretty good, a little bit off. But what I'm gonna do is adjust that. If you look at the instructions, it tells you exactly how to do that. And I'm going to show you myself exactly where that adjustment is made on the physical unit. Essentially, this screw here. So I'm going to next adjust that screw to make the door level and looking good. Perfect. So now as you can see, our door is lining up perfectly. And I'm gonna tweak this one just a hair as well. Perfect. Now our doors are lined up. This thing is coming together looking super clean, especially with this Epson Epic Vision screen. Nice and neat. All right, guys, that does conclude my video on how to install the Salamander Designs LS800 Ultra Short Throw Cabinet in the Chicago Finish. Now, if you guys would like to take things a little bit further, follow along with this entire series here at my home in Colorado. We are going to be now, in the future episodes, setting up the amplifier, as well as hooking up the Kaleidoscape, powering everything up, going through configurations, and demoing this system at some point here in the near future. I'm trying to make some really long format, detailed videos to help you guys with completing your projects. I hope that you find this video informative in helping you make a buying decision. If you would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and speak with my specialist. We FaceTime, video call, Zoom with you, and then we walk through your space and we tailor a package to fit your exact needs and budget. And if you aren't gonna DIY it, don't worry. We have a preferred installer network in 28 different states at this time and would love the opportunity to earn your business. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. Things are finally coming together. I have received the Salamander Designs cabinet and I'm gonna be unboxing the Epson LS800 Epic Vision 4K laser projector. This thing is the best in class for the money. I absolutely fell in love with it at Cedia in 2022, and now I have it in my own personal home. All right, guys, let's get into checking this unit out.